just got in the uh, six port SCART switch from uh, Otaku and right now I'm feeding it uh, I've got the SNES Junior the Super Game Boy 2 feeding on there through the G SCART let's take a look so here it is I got the cheapest version it was like a $40 six switch with only one of these uh, RCA outs and it's got a switch here to where I can go switch the RCA to in or out and when I switch to in it switches the screen off so that's like an additional seventh input you could have uh, if you really wanted to and then you could switch the first six through the buttons on the front here and then switch to the seventh on the back there and I've got the SNES on input one looks good and the other one I've got turned on right now is this uh, the N64 and that's in port 2 and it works really well and it's all going into the 8th port of the G-SCART so if I pop this button here and turn it off then I can uh, turn something else on like the uh, PS1 and the PS1 pops up on the screen so overall I'm pretty happy with it um, I've got let's see turn that on. I've got four of the spots four to the six spots filled um, and I really don't think that I will I need to get another cable for the GameCube so that'll be the fifth and then the sixth slot hmm I'm not sure what I'll fill it with. I'll probably use it for uh, to hopefully replace one of my remaining component systems, uh, which I've got going to the G Comp, going into the Garo, going into the G Scar. So it's quite a quite a chain. But I was able to. This spot here was the um, well. These are actually PS2, so I need to remove this. So this has been replaced. This used to be a PAL GameCube with HD retrovision cables um, and that's been replaced with Citrus 2000 PSI's RGB mod so all that's left now is the Xbox and the Wii so I'm waiting for Citrus 2000 PSI's Wii RGB mod and I can put that here and then one of these cables is actually this Xtron RGB box so I'm trying which I'm trying to use with the uh, with the Xbox to do VGA into this which should give me in from RGB HV into RGB S which I can then feed into here into Discard so I'm almost there <laughs> very close and that'll fill up every spot and I still have these RCA's left over if I want to do anything uh, extra special so uh, Xbox and Wii I need your RGB <laughs> and that about covers it so overall very happy with this thing uh, for $40 you can't beat it especially since uh, I I didn't want to spend another $180 on a, on a second G SCART so overall really good you should pick it up it took a really long time to ship but I think they're they've got some stock back so uh, if you're looking for just one extra little switch to add on, this is a good one to get. And for like uh, 15 to 20 extra dollars, I think you can get a little plexiglass case that comes to come with this if you want something a bit more protective. Um, and I think I might eventually like reposition this to maybe this like screw it onto the side down here or something where I can still reach the buttons and it's out of the way. But for now, this is uh, this is really good. So definitely pick it up.